Saigon. Shit. Every minute I stay in this room, I get weaker. And every minute Charlie squats in the bush, he gets stronger. Yeah. 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 I wanted a mission. Brought it up to me like room service. Captain Willard, you in there? Yeah. It was a real choice mission, and when it was over, I'd never want another. What do you want? You all right, Captain? What's it look like? Captain Willard, 505th Italian. Affirmative. 173rd Airborne. Yeah. Signed SOG. Hey, buddy, you gonna shut the door? We have orders to escort you to the airfield. Only the charges. Sir? What I do? There's no charges, Captain. You have orders to report to ComSec Intelligence, not Trank. Right? I'm not trying for me. That's right. Come on, Captain. You still have a few hours to get cleaned up. Right. Captain, Dave, come here and give me a hand. Come on, Captain. Let's take a shower. No, no, no. We're going to take a shower. In we go. I was going to the worst place in the world, and I didn't even know it yet. Weeks away and hundreds of miles up a river that snaked through the war like a main circuit cable plugged straight into Kurtz. It was no accident I got to be the caretaker of Colonel Walter E. Kurtz's memory any more than being back in Saigon was an accident. There is no way to tell his story without telling my own. And if his story is really a confession, Captain Will reporting, then so is mine. Yeah, good. Come on in. Thank you, sir. Sanity. No, thank you, sir. Captain, have you ever seen this gentleman before? No, sir. You met the general or myself? No, sir. Not personally. You worked a lot on your own, haven't you, Captain? Yes, sir, I have. Your report does by intelligence, counterintelligence with the ComSec I... I'm not presently supposed to discuss this operation, sir. Did you not work for the CIA and I Corps? No, sir. Did you not assassinate a government tax collector in Quan Tri Province, June 18, 1968, Captain? Sir, I am unaware of any such activity. I thought we'd have a bite of lunch while we talk. I hope you brought a good appetite, Captain. What if you have a bad hand there? Are you wounded? A little fishing accident on R&R, &R, sir. Fishing on R&R? &R. Yes, sir. But you're feeling fit. You're ready for duty. Yes, General, very much so, sir. Yeah, well, let's see what we have here. Roast beef, and usually it's not bad. Try some, Jerry. Pass it around. Save a little time. We might pass both ways. Uh, Captain, I don't know how you feel about this shrimp, but if you lead it, you'll never have to prove your courage in any other way. I, well, I don't know. I take the piece. Here. Captain, you've heard of Colonel Walter E. Kurtz? Yes, sir, I've heard the name. Oh, Jesus. Operations officer to Special Forces. Luke, would you play that tape at the camp, please? Yes, sir. Sorry, Listen sir. to this carefully. Jack over 9 0 4 30 hours for King. These are monitored out of camp. Even verifies Colonel Kurtz's voice. I watch a snail crawl along the edge of a straight razor. That's my dream. It's my nightmare. Crawling, slithering along the edge of a straight razor and surviving. Transmission 11, C-68, December 30, 0500 hour, the King, the Lu King. But we must kill them, we must incinerate them, page after page, cow after cow, village after village, army after army, and they call me an assassin. What do you call it? And the assassins accuse the assassin. They lie, they lie, and we have to be merciful for those who lie. Those nabobs, I hate them, I do hate them. Walt Kurt was one of the most outstanding officers this country's ever produced. He was brilliant, he was outstanding in every way. And he was a good man, too, a humanitarian man, a man of wit and humor. He joined the Special Forces. And after that, his uh, ideas, methods, became unsound, unsound. Now he's crossed into Cambodia with this Montagnard army of his that worship the man like a god and follow every order, however ridiculous. Well, I have some other shocking news to tell you. Colonel Kurtz was about to be arrested for murder. I don't want to follow him, sir. Murder, too. Kurtz had ordered the execution of some Vietnamese intelligence agents, men he believed were uh, double agents. So he took matters into his own hands. Well, you see, Willard, in this war, things get confused out there. Power, ideal, morality, and practical military necessity. But out there with these natives must be a temptation to be God. Because there's a conflict in every human heart between the rational and the irrational, between good and evil. And good does not always triumph. Sometimes the dark side overcomes what Lincoln called better angels of our nature. Every man has got a breaking point. You and I have. Paul Kurtz has reached his. And very obviously, he has gone insane. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Very much so, sir. Obviously insane. Your mission is to proceed up the Nung River in a Navy patrol boat. <clears throat> Pick up Colonel Kurt's path at Numang Ba. Follow it. Learn what you can along the way. When you find the Colonel, infiltrate his team by <clears throat> whatever means available and terminate the Colonel command. Terminate the Colonel. He's out there operating without any decent restraint, totally beyond the pale of any acceptable human conduct. And he's still in the field commanding troops. Terminate with extreme prejudice. You understand, Captain, that this mission does not exist, nor will it ever exist.